Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all doing well and we are kicking into this week with a brand new team as we started off on Monday, as you can see on your screen right now. If you've missed any of the episodes so far this week and you'd like to go back and check out the team's progress up to now, I'll pop a card up here for you, you can go back, check those out and then come into today's episode and we'll have even more fun, fantastic matches to go ahead with with this team. But just to recap, we've got the Mega Manetric, got the Lunala, the Kyogre, Tepu Lele, Cartana and Hydreigon. And as always, the team is down in the description below. There is a raw paste and a poker paste. Help yourselves, go try it out, or just take a look over it and let me know what you think of it. And uh, hopefully, if you do try it out, you'll have a lot of fun. It is a very fun team to play around with. But without further ado, guys, let's get ourselves into today's game game the music is on everything looks set up so we're ready to go as always if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to leave a like on the video do subscribe to the channel and leave your comments down below let me know what your thoughts are on the team and everything else in general so let's kick off with a bit of cyrus today we have some news coming i think today if it's not already dropped it will be dropping soon we've got a pokemon direct today so it's going to be very exciting and i will do some content on the direct looking at the new sword and shield details so I'll keep an eye out for that it's going to be very exciting because i do want to do a lot more coverage on sword and shield as we are in the run-up to that release later this year but we've got a first opponent ken Wan, and we'll jump straight into team preview so we've got a little bit of a mirror match here going on with Ken. So he is running Kyogre, Lunala, Tapu Lele, Cortana, all things we've got. And then the differences are going to be that Mega Metagross and that Smeagol. So the Smeagol is going to be a bit of an issue for us to deal with for sure. Uh, makes things a little bit tricky, definitely. Um, but we do have, well, we need to check it pretty hard. Um, I think Manetric and Tapu Lele for ourselves is decent. Um, Oh, what do we want to do? Lunala's pretty good here once we can check. Um, like, Lunala's good against the majority of stuff. It's just the opposing Lunala and the Smeagol combination that scares me a little bit. The Snarl and the Fast Tap Lele gives us a way to deal with Smeagol for sure. Uh, there's no other terrain control that kind of hinders us. Uh, so I think I will bring Lunala. And do I bring Cartana or do I bring Kyogre? Kind of tempted to bring Cortana here over anything else. Um, and I think it will do that, to be honest. I don't feel like Kyogre is going to be that great where Cortana can be amazing. So we'll let go with these four. And we'll get into our first one today against Ken Wan. Looking all cool with that cool hair. Oh, I want my hair to look like that swoop. That swoop would be good. Come on, white screen. Don't do this to us. Let's load. Let's not do it. Come on. There we go. There we go. Kicking in. DS gears or grinding it's gonna be so cool when you think about sword and shield going on to the switch playing pokemon on the switch it's gonna be incredible i can't literally cannot wait for it i'm really looking forward to the direct as well and seeing all the news if you're watching this after the direct obviously um it'll be good to discuss it in the next video so do leave some comments and let me know right we're gonna see lunala as me come out from my opponent kind of what we expected to see so i'm gonna just mega roll i'm gonna snarl and i'm gonna just target into the Smeagol and uh, go for a Psychic there. So the Snarl Psychic should be enough to take it down if it does go for the Follow Me. We should be able to break the Shadow Shield on the Lunala and reduce its uh, special attack by one stage. And specifically the Manetric is EV to take um, uh, the Lunala Z move on a minus one um, after we snarled it. So that was one of the calcs there if you guys were wondering. We are going to just see a Follow Me from the Smeagol. We're going to be able to remove it now. What the trade will be here is I don't know whether they go for um, the the Tapu Lele to remove it or the Manetric. I'm kind of hoping they go for uh, I don't know. I kind of would prefer to keep both of them if I'm completely honest. But we are able to remove that Smeagol here so and reduce the special attack and break the Shadow Shield on that Lunala. I'm going to say Trick Room though. Wow. Okay. Did not expect to see that. Ah, <laughs> we've been caught with our pants down. It's not so good. Mm, this makes things a little bit more tricky for us. This is why Cartana is going to be really good and why Kyogre would have been extremely useful in this match to bring in just to soak up these water type attacks. Because now we're in a bit of trouble. We're in a lot of trouble, to be honest. We're in a big, bold lot of trouble. Mm. I think we're gonna have to try and 
Try, try. We'll protect Manetric. We're going to have to sack Lily. I don't feel like I've got anything I want to bring in in the back. Like, we've got our own Lunala, but they're, they're probably running a slow Lunala, so... I don't think we're going to be that great against it, and we don't want to switch it in and break its Shadow Shield. It kind of defeats the, the object of having it, so... Can Lele take this water spot? I doubt it. I doubt it, but we'll see if it can. Nah, no way, no chance. And Moongas Beam, okay. So Lunala, Lunala, my Cartana. Cartana could be the one that we bring in here. Mm. Be able to take a water spot. It's not gonna be able to take a double attack though from either of these two Pokemon. Like Lunala will be able to take Hmm. I don't think there's any way for us to come back from this one. I think we've got ourselves into a hole that Trick Room has really caught us out here. Um. <sighs> Wide God could be really good. Like, Wide God would be extremely good, but we don't have it. Um, let's try and bring Lunala in. And where do we want to go? We, want, we we have to attack the Kyogre. We have to attack the Kyogre. We could go for a double protect the Manetric. Um, yeah, we'll go for that. Because I think... No, you definitely go for... You definitely just water spout and attack into Lunala, for sure. I'm going to try and Z-move into the Kyogre and get some damage off onto it. I just don't see us being able to take... Unless they're running max speed Lunala with Trick Room, which could be a thing, but I doubt. Uh, we'll be able to take the Water Spout. This is where the Wide Guard would have been incredible. We've said this so many times this week, it's maybe something that we look at. So we've not really been utilising the roll as much as I kind of expected. In testing, he used the roll quite a lot on Xerneas, but we're just not finding it that useful now. Um, and we do lose Lunala, and we're, we're a real... We're in a real pickle now, where we can get Cortana in, but I mean the double up into Cortana is, is just so, so obvious. And we've got no way to really hit this Lunala, we need a triple protect with Minetric, and then another one. Because a water spout comes out, takes down Minetric for sure. <sighs> I mean, yeah, we're, we're done. Ken has set this up really well, caught us completely off guard. We'll go for Leaf Blade into the Kyogre, but I just don't see it. Don't see us even surviving it with the, um, yeah, the Kyogre is just, in this board position that you set up here is like the, the board position that we just want to avoid at all costs. Um, and I think we could deal with Tailwind, but we can't deal with, with that, so it's been a, a very quick and it, this is the thing, like, if you underestimate this this combination and you guess wrong and it sets up, it's so devastating. Um, probably, in hindsight, a better thing to, to do here, uh, just to stop the potential trick room going up from this opposing Lunala. But then the Smeagol did create a lot of pressure and made us pick that the lead that we did for a reason. So, very good game to Ken. Pleasure playing and uh, very good team and like I say we just get caught completely off guard by the, the trick room that turn one but hmm something to think about if we come up against a similar core in the future not the best of starts today but we are not going to let it dampen our spirits my friends we are going to continue on and uh, hopefully we can redeem ourselves and then uh, we'll hop over to our other screen and we'll see what our rating is after that one Taking a bit of a chunk, I think. We were doing alright as well, creeping back up to that 1700 mark. But, oh, falling right the way down. Um, okay. Let's pick some good music, get ourselves into a better spirit. Team Rainbow Rocket. It's a bit old school, but it's a cool track, so we'll, we'll play that one. Go on into our next one. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our next opponent. Uh, if it does, guys, then I will come straight back. We'll just cut to it, so I'll see you in one moment. And we've got an ex-opponent of the episode, so we're going straight into it. A Russian opponent, I don't believe if we've had anyone from Russia, so this is exciting to play. So, greetings to the channel, my Russian friend, and uh, good luck, and we'll hop straight into Team Preview. 
So we're going up against a X-ray team. It's very standard with the Landorus there. It's probably got the Z move, then the Xerneas, the Incineroar, the Moongus there with the redirection, then the dual Intimidate support there from that Incineroar and the Landorus is fake out support from the Incineroar as well. You've got the Rayquaza likely to be Sash. Can't underestimate that it could be Banded or it could be Assault Vest as well. And then the type of Finny there to wrap things up for my opponent. I think we will need to be able to shut down the, the potential Xerneas. Um, set up here, so uh, we want Lunala, I think, to lead out, um, and probably Manetric as well. Um, or do we, do we go Kyogre, like we did in a previous game, where we can have the Lele in the back to switch in? And do we want Cartana or do we want Manetric? The thing is with Manetric, when when I do bring it, uh, I want to really lead it because I want to be able to proc the Intimidate as soon as possible. Um, let's see, and yeah, the Intimidate's really useful if we do see uh, Incineroar come out next, like, as a lead. So I'm going to have Kyogre Lele in the back. Cartana would be very good here, but hmm, we're just going to have to rely a little bit more. Minetric to do a good job against things like Tapu Fini here. Um, so we'll see how we can get into this one. Hopefully we can redeem ourselves after that last match. Um, not taking anything away from Ken now, but uh, you know you always want to try and, and try and progress and do really well and not kind of get caught out like you do in those matches. So let's see if we can do a little bit better in this one, which I'm sure we can. So we'll lead off with Minetric and Lunala. We're going to see my opponent lead off with Tapu Fini and Xerneas. So we can potentially go for Vault Switch into the Tapu Fini and roll into that Xerneas because I expect I expect it to Geomancy here. I think that's what I would I would expect to see that. So I'm gonna just roar it out. And hmm, I'll do a snarl. I could snarl. I could snarl. Just in case it doesn't go for the Geomancy. Um but I kind I kind of am wasting it, so I'm gonna Volt switch out onto the Finny. Might see the Lander switch in on that slot. I don't know if I've Mega Evolved, which is gonna be. I hope I have. I hope I clicked the Mega Evolved button. Too busy chatting. Oh, uh, then we're gonna see. Yeah, Finny, Landers come in. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. But if we see Jaman C, then I don't mind too much. So what we're we gonna see? The whole switch. Yeah, we didn't mega evolve. Oh, it doesn't clean. It's a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. But we'll get the roar out onto the Xerneas here. And we've revealed that as well, so my opponent knows about that. Um, we've got a free Volt Switch into this slot though this next turn, and we can go for a Tailwind here. So it kind of sets us up. Not a bad position. Um, so we will Tailwind with Lunala. We will this turn mega evolve. My opponent really doesn't have a way to get around this Vault Switch now. Uh, we'll get the Intimidate onto Landorus, which should hopefully allow Lunala to take the Z-move from the Landorus. Potentially minus one. You would hope it does. Ah, hmm. Then you're going to switch. What are we going to see? Incineroar come in? Okay, that's fine. I mean, we're not going to see an Earthquake, I don't think, here. I think it's going to be the Z-move from the Landorus. Um, and we know now my opponent doesn't have Rayquaza, so it means Kyogre has a way better time if we can get it in a Tailwind with that Water Spout just going boosh, boosh, boosh. Because what we can do this next turn is if we can get Kyogre in decent shape and it's not damaged too much, um, as you can switch in the Lele for the Lunala. Lander is protecting. This is ideal. This is perfect. I mean, we're setting this game up for us now. Um, we'll get the Volt Switch into the Incineroar. We'll get Kyogre into the field. And then, like I said, the next turn, what we'll do is we'll switch in Lele for Lunala. And then we're in such a dominating position. Even if that Xerneas comes in, we're going to be able to Water Spark, Psychic it. And my opponent doesn't have any way to utilize their Fake Out support now. So we should be able to close this one up pretty quickly. But I say that. We still got a long way to go. Our opponent still has all four Pokemon, so we can't take our eye off the ball. 
but just looking ahead and that's what I think trying to get across to especially newer players when you're coming into the VGC scene when you're setting yourself up board positions you're trying to look ahead so many turns where you're in a position where you can't really lose from the position that you're in and you look at different options that your opponent can do to try and shut down what you're trying to do and you could look around well maybe if they do this then we'll make this play and it covers everything and if you can do that most of the time it's it's ideal but it's easier said than done i can sit here and easily say that but then predicting what your opponent's going to do sometimes isn't that easy um, but we're in a nice position now. We've got the Tailwind up with Kyogre. We've got it on the field, got the Rain up. We know there's no Rayquaza in the back. We've seen all four Pokemon from my opponent. So like I say, we, we, my opponent probably thinks they're going to be able to utilize this Fake out here. We've got the Tapu Lele to come in, disrupt this terrain here. Um, the only thing that could happen is if the Landra switches out to the Finny now, and then you will get the, the Fake out uh, support, which would be a very smart play from my opponent. Yeah, making that play. So they will be able to utilize this Fake out now. Uh, so they're doing what they can and this is what I mean, you know, like we've kind of put oh, we're not gonna say a fake out. That's that's interesting. Hmm. I would have thought you would have maybe gone for a fake out there with Incineroar. Like knowing that you get the switch into the Finny. Maybe a misclick, maybe a timeout. You don't know. You really don't know. Uh, one of the things we can do now though is go for the magic room. And water spout magic room water spout i don't really feel like because we've not got cortana in the back we're not really relying on any items on our side of the field at the minute except from the scarf from the lele but that's fine because we've got a tailwind up so if we can get this off this would be nice it stops the geomancy boost uh it takes away the berry from the type of finny as well which is also very nice very nice indeed so we'll go for that magic room then it means Tapu Lele can actually take advantage of the, um, the the Tailwind while we've still got it in effect. So we can potentially uh, go for a Psychic the next turn. We'll get another Water Spout off into this Finny. Um, there's a Magic Room, so no more items for you, either of you. We'll probably see an Age of Madness into the Kyogre, to be honest. Um, or an Icy Wind. Yeah, but a Psychic Water Spout should take that down now. I'm going to see Light Screen, that's a nice option there for my opponent but they can't go for the geomancy um, and we can get rid of the tapu finny this next turn which is exactly what we're going to do because we're not worried about the potential xerneas boosting up now we can just throw out a water spout get the tapu finny it's berry's not going to proc if the landers comes in on that slot then we'll take that down so whatever happens we're going to get a bunch of damage off onto the xerneas um we'll get the finny or we'll get the landers um and this xerneas cannot Geomancy one turn boost anyway, so if it goes for it, then it's locked into a turn, which gives us a little bit of movement around trying to deal with it. It's still not going to be easy to deal with, this is why we need to get big damage onto it, if we can. Um, and our Tailwind is slowly, well, quickly running out, so we need to keep that in mind as well, going forward. Alright, Psychic, there we go. And the Water Spout should be enough to get the... Yeah, the Finny now and do a good chunk to the Xerneas. It has got the light screen up, obviously, so it will be able to. <sighs> That's doing nice damage. That is nice damage. That Xerneas is not bulky at all. Um, there's a Moonblast. Where are you going? Into Kyogre. I imagine that's where we'll go. Yeah. yeah we can take that pretty comfortably. Yeah. Terrain does run out. And the Lander is coming in. Did we just sacrifice Manetric at this point and get the Intimidate onto Landorus? Because it's definitely got the Z move, I'd imagine. Um, it's definitely got the Z move. I just kind of prefer Kyogre in this situation than anything else, and I feel like Manetric is not really doing too much in this match right now. Um, if we can get it in for free, that would be amazing. Um, But we want to try and, and weaken this Landorus, which has definitely got a Z move. It's still got access to that, obviously, because the Magic Room can't take away Z crystals. Um, but if we can get a Psychic into the Xerneas, that would be amazing. But this Intimidate is so important onto this Landorus. It's definitely got a Z move. There's a Moonblast. Be into Manetri. Onto Lele, so we'll take that. We should get. Special attack falls. That's really annoying. So rock slide. This might take down Lele. 
No, we actually take that, so that's pretty good. Uh, psychic, yeah, and now we can snarl. Um, we'll just sack what we've got out in the field, I think, now. Um, yeah, we'll just snarl. Because I feel like Lunala's in a good position to come in, kind of deal with the Landorus. Yeah, I wonder if it... No, it's not scoffed Landorus, is it? Probably just going to see an earthquake now. Which will clear the field. But at the same time, I don't really want to bring anything in. Uh, like, yeah. Lunala can come in now. Um, and Z-move the Landorus. Pick up the knockout. We'll definitely have to beat the Landorus. The Z-move should pick up the knockout because the light screen should be ending this turn. Should be. Oh, it's got one more turn. Hmm. Which makes things a little bit more tricky, for sure, because we kind of need the light screen to be gone. Unless it's already run out and I've missed it, but I don't think it has. Let's see. Let's have a look when the screen loads up. We've got that Z move to contend with, though. That's the that's the big thing. So, um, magic room ends in one turn. Light screen ends in one turn. Hmm. Could we tailwind, or is it risky? Is it risky? Tailwind and protect Kyogre. We could just get rid of the Xerneas. Because is he? Hmm. No, we'll Tailwind and we'll protect Kyogre. We'll do it. We'll lock in. Live and die by the sword. That's what I'm saying right now. It could all fall apart. My opponent's done really well if they are able to do it. Oh, wow. Okay. They're done for the two turn Geomancy. They're going to spend another turn going for it. We do get the Tailwind up. Here's the Z move. It's whether or not we take it on minus one. Because if it's into the Lunala, I feel like we might be able to. Maybe. Let's see. Come on. Come on, Lunala. Let's do this. Do this. Minus one. Take it, please. Oh, we take it. The light screen wears off. The magic room. But. Okay, so we can. Uh, Tailwind, uh, we need to attack. We need to attack the Xerneas here. So we'll Z-move it. Just for the giggles. Because we'll be out speeding it. And we'll go for an Ice Beam into the Landers. And that should lock the game up. My opponent's done so well. From the position where you, we, we're in that position. With the, the, the Tailwind up, with the Kyogre out. We're like, we've locked this. But, they made all the right plays. Uh, from that point and brought this match to back to the point of nearly actually being able to win it very close if the Lunalo went down there I think we just lose instantly um, and maybe so we are hitting into the Xerneas we're going to be able to pick up the knockout there before it does get the Geomancy off and we should be able to wrap this one up pretty quickly with a knockout onto the Landorus here as the Ice Beam and we are going to pick that one up so very good game to my opponent like I say they've done so well to um, come back and make it this close at the very end. Pleasure to play and uh, we'll wrap things up there guys. So thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Remember leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of today's games and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. So until then take care and bye bye.